Are you a business owner looking to grow your business in South Africa? Tune in to the Blaze podcast with Telcom Business. Learn from the experts and get tips on marketing, finance, innovation and more. Blaze with Telcom Business. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Telcom Business Blaze podcast, your go-to source for all things business. Today, we're diving into the world of easy equities, exploring how this platform can benefit your business along with the valuable financial management tools and advice tailored specifically for small, medium, and micro enterprises. Let's get started with some intros. I'm Veronique van Rensburg, the Partnership Relationship Manager for Easy Equities. And I'm Kaylon Bezi, I'm the brand and education manager. Yep. I'm Jessica Moluleke and I'm the head of client engagement. It's really great to have you guys here. Um, just to get started, you know, for people that, and this is a very small group of people, who don't know what Easy Equities actually is. Um, okay, so in a nutshell, Easy Equities is an online investing platform. It was started 10 years ago, the brainchild of Charles Savage. But I think uh, in tandem, Besides what is easy equities, I would even go so far as to say why is easy equities. Mm. Um, the world of investing has always been shrouded in mystery, this jargon, yeah. when you talk about corporate actions and dividends and this, so there's that barrier of entry. It's expensive. Back in the day, you know, you had to have access to a broker. Mm. Then if you have access to a broker, you don't know what's going on. So this was a need that had to be filled and Charles said, how do we democratize investing, break down those barriers? Let's give access to everybody. So he created the platform. Whether you have five rand, whether you have five million rand, whether you have a hundred million rand, it's a platform where you can come and invest and grow your wealth. And we've got over two million clients now. Yeah. yeah, that's absolutely incredible. And I mean, I've known the platform to be uh, more for individuals um, that are investing, but you also are looking into the business side of things. Um, what type of investment products can businesses access through Easy Equities? Sure. Um, businesses have access to our Zaw wallets. Essentially, what this means is that you've got access to um, JC listed companies within the Zaw wallet. Um, there's ETFs, there's unit trusts in there as well, and government bonds, um, mm. uh, our addition to Easy Equities. Uh, you also have access to our Easy Property side, so you can invest in property. Why should businesses and entrepreneurs be thinking about investments um, as part of their business strategy? Importantly, as, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a business uh, owner, uh, you are actually uh, exposed within the whole business space. So using mm. that knowledge, you're then now able to actually grow your wealth on the side. Yeah. Are there other economic benefits for you know, a business that's saying, you know, we've generated revenue, we're keeping it in a bank account, but we want to do a lot more with it um, that can come from actually investing? Absolutely. I mean, I think one of the biggest benefits is a, it's a hedge against inflation. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantee that leaving your money in a bank account is going to ensure growing. Yes, granted, there's always risks as well that, coming, that comes with investing. But because on easy equities, you can invest in fractions of shares. You don't mm. need massive amounts of capital, massive amounts of equities. There's no minimums on the platform. So as you're growing your business, it's just another avenue for wealth. There are some tax benefits as well when it comes to dividends. Mm. Corporates are exempt in certain situations over individual accounts. Um, so yeah, I mean, d don't we all want multiple streams of income? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a def <laughs> that's a <definite. laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, in addition to these corporate accounts, what other options or products are available for business owners? I mean, um, like Veronique actually added, there are um, different accounts such as, for example, your individual account, your trust account, as well as your stockfill account. They are as well as uh, minor accounts. Let's take, for example, whether you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, at the end of the day, you are an individual on your own. You might as well have friends out there that you're within a stock fill within and that's when you can actually come together and then open a stock fill account or you can actually open an account for your child and I mean if you look at the the, the benefits that come within this different accounts let's look at for example an individual account it gives you access to all this offshore um, investments yep. as well as different other offerings that easy equities provide such as for example your easy credit and maybe um, uh, easy protect which Veronique would probably touch more on but easy protect is more of like as, your, as, your, as the value of, the, of your portfolio grows, that's when your premium starts um, um, declining. We need, to, we need to tell them what Easy Protect is first. <laughs> <laughs> please do, please do. Um, okay, so, I mean, Easy Equities, when we started, what did we have? We had a Zara wallet, we had a TFSA, then we started branching out. Mm. Now we've got, you can invest in the US market as an individual, corporate accounts, 
due to regulations, they're limited to South Just Africans. But there's the USD yes. account. You can invest in Euro. You can invest um, the British, Australian, crypto properties. So we're innovating at a rapid, rapid pace. And we've, at the end of last year, we launched a credit product, Easy mm. Credit. So you mm. can borrow against the shares in your portfolio, up to 30% of the qualifying shares. Which is really, really cool because clients, you know, they withdraw yeah. money, they come back six months later, they just redeposit. Mm. So we've sorted out, okay, you need access to cash, apply for credit with us. Oh, we've wow. recently, a few weeks ago, we launched um, Easy Protect. So this is a term life product. Mm. So you only really need life insurance because you don't have enough assets. So our product is asset aware. It knows how many, much assets you hold. And as your assets increase, the your premiums. premium decreases. Mm, yeah. So you have you know, access to the life insurance, plus credit if you need it, plus a multitude of wallets. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, with all this innovation, um, a lot of the, the, the technology as well, you know, risks come into play, uh, mm -hmm. security comes into play. How does Easy Equities ensure the security of any business's investment and financial information? Ooh, I suppose like first and foremost, we are a registered FSP. Mm. So we are governed by, you know, the FSEA, we adhere strictly to FICA processes, the Protection of Personal Information Act. So that's from a, a regulatory uh, perspective. And then we often get asked, okay, well, how are my assets safe? What happens mm -hmm. if easy equities, you know, Touch wood. Us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens? Like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so all of your assets, the free cash, your shares, that's held. It's completely ring fenced. It's segregated. Mm. It's held in a nominee account, which works much like a trust. So should anything happen, your investments are safe. I but see. regulators, we're registered. Plus, Purple Group, our holding company, is a uh, thirty uh, percent is owned by Sunlam as yeah. well, mm. which is you know one of the most trusted. Brands. This is really, really reassuring. Um, you know, when you're a business owner or, you know, a small business um, um, operator, it is hard to still also keep a, you know, just keep educated about what's actually happening from an investment front. Mm -hmm. Does Easy Equities provide educational resources or tools that can help businesses make informed investment decisions? Yeah. So, so yes, uh, there, there are quite a, a number of resources that we have. Take, for example, our Easy Blog as well as our Easy Research. So what we do is that we try by all means to provide the investors with the necessary information. But I go back to my point of saying that as an entrepreneur, you are the best tool of yourself, right? Mm. Which, which therefore means that the tools that we provide are just there to enhance what it is that, it, that you're already pushing. So with that being said, we provide um, all these various resources to update investors as well as also keep them informed in terms of what's happening within the market. And we also have um, things such as, for example, where we provide investors uh, weekly dividend updates. Those provide um, investors with the information as to where, which companies are actually paying dividends and where the dividends actually come from. And that, for one, could actually potentially benefit investors in terms of creating um, a source of income. Yeah, yeah. and I think I'll just add... We do have our Easy Does It podcast. Mm -hmm. um, we have our Easy Academy, which is essentially like some sort of a research portal. You go in there, you watch like maybe two minute videos explaining different topics in the investment world. I think the biggest issue has been the jargon that mm -hmm. Veronique mm -hmm. mentioned. Yep. A lot of people just don't understand when you say dividends. So we try and break that down for the entry level investor to say, listen, this is actually what it means. This is where you can start, how you continue and how it ends essentially. And, I'm, and I mean, also just to add, um, there's also another one, which is the FAQ, which oh, yes. is something yeah. that Jess is really keen on in terms of, of managing. She really <laughs> does the things because at the end of the day, yeah. FAQs is all about yeah. the most frequently asked questions, right? Mm. And these are the people who actually get to engage those kind of in questions and they, they're now able to provide answers for those questions. Yeah. Well, I I've got a very good question for you. Then. <laughs> <laughs> this is a definitely yeah, okay. a perfect. <laughs> this is a perfect FAQ. <laughs> <laughs> what are the costs associated with using Easy Equities for business investment, and sure. how do they compare to other investment yeah. platforms? I mean, okay, you're right. Um, a lot of our clients do actually There's want an to know. There's an FAQ for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the craziest thing about Easy Equities is that <laughs> there are no minimums. Mm. Um, compared to other other companies, right? You need a minimum of 50 rand, 100 rand just to get in. We're saying no, come with your five rand. It's it's okay because you can use that five rand to buy fractional shares. Mm. Um, we charge 0.25% on brokerage, brokerage fees, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's our commission. That's all. 
and yeah and 0.5 percent for transferring offshore that's for individuals going back to the point of saying whether you're a business owner or an entrepreneur you are still an individual could somewhat as well somewhat benefit you when you actually open an individual account as well yeah mm -hmm. so do you guys um, offer any specific products that are designed to help businesses manage their investment portfolios eff efficiently easy equities was started based on the fact that everybody should be able to do this for mm. themselves, which is why we focus so heavily on education, which is why we focus so heavily on the FAQs. However, having said that, we do have some things coming down the pipeline. <laughs> um, <laughs> where to start? Where to start? Okay, so in the business space, this is why I'm so excited about, which I'm sure we can touch on later, about the partnership with Telcom, mm. because it's opening our horizons to look at, okay, how can we better serve businesses? So one of the things we're looking at is improving our... Um, Easy Advisor, which is goal-based investing, not dealing with a physical person, but the, mecha the mechanics behind it, you set up specific investment goals yep. to invest. Then our platform in the next little while, I won't give a specific date, is uh, getting a whole new facelift. So our Invest Now page, it's amalgamating everything into one. Education is going to come front and center. You know, the biggest questions we get is, I don't know what to invest in. Mm. So we really want to be able to solve for that problem. You want to have it, other people, what do, what do people like me, what are they investing in? Mm. Oh, okay, these are the top performing shares across all wallets, not just the wallet that I'm looking in. Mm. Then the, what I'm most excited about is AI is obviously the big talk of the town. You know, Absolutely. it's, it's accomplish, accomplishing amazing things mm. in all industries. So Easy Equities is um, pioneering once again. So watch the space for AI baskets. Going to start off in the USD wallet, which has a wonderful bouquet, but literally your own personal AI bot that works behind the scenes and you ask for a basket based on X industry with these requirements. Mm. It does its work in the background draws you a little picture, there you go, there's your basket, this is why I've cho chosen it. You can interact with it, ask questions about the investments. So am I missing anything? I feel like that's, I feel like that's <laughs> a lot. Wait, wait, you wait, really there's more. It. One more thing. What? Wait, there's more. So we, one of the accounts we have as well is an RA, mm -hmm. you know, obviously for, for your personal, in your per personal in capacity. Yeah. But what we are looking at doing is enabling companies and employers to then be able to directly contribute to their employees mm. RAs directly through the platform mm. you know part of the HR payroll de deposit directly and contribute to employees payrolls we want to look at you know salary advancements for companies as well so there's yeah there's a lot of and I mean obviously the key down. thing within that whole um, thing that uh, that Veronique indicated is the transparency for people to be able to do it themselves mm. rather than someone having being the one to manage their retirements and so forth mm. yeah I mean, I just want to go back to that partnership that you mentioned with Telcom Business. You know, um, what makes this stand out and be so valuable for business owners? So, I mean, Telcom is doing an amazing job in the SMME space. Yep. You know, so they have so much to offer businesses as it is. Investing, perhaps something that we can also, there's, there's a lot of synergy there. Mm -hmm. So it's opening our horizons. As we've said, you know, we have mostly focused on the individual accounts, but this is a whole avenue for us to explore that we can work together with Telcom and brain, brainstorm ideas and really offer that, that little missing piece that yeah. could just add the full suite. And you just, just come to Telcom. It's one place. All your investments are there. You've got all your services, your subscriptions. So it's just, it's literally opening up a whole new horizon for easy equities. All in one. Mm. That's really amazing. So there's one thing that I haven't asked that I think everyone needs to know. How do I actually register? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's as simple as just going onto our website mm -hmm. and, and clicking on register. Um, for business, there is a bit of a due diligence that we have to do um, from our compliance perspective. Um, yeah, but literally just filling in your details online and then we, we take it mm -hmm. from there. And, the, and the, the biggest step from there is actually getting started. Mm. Uh, just doing something. I mean, take for example, there's, um, I, I, if, if I was to put it in context, um, for entrepreneurs and, and business owners, the field for me personally tends to be so fascinating. Mm. And that's why for one, I've actually used um, what we call the six months risk challenge. It then now looks at these kind of um, environments, looking at small companies, whatnot. It encourages me to do what? To start investing 100 rand per month. So the most important thing is to doing what? To getting started. Yeah. That's true. Mm.
if you have the Telcom Pay app as an individual, you can somewhere just go there and click register. Mm. As That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I have a final question, and this is just something that I feel like is important and something that I think a lot of people don't um, experience enough is what was the thing that you would tell someone if they haven't ever made an investment in their life and they want to do it with you guys, what's the thing that you would tell them um, about starting that journey for themselves? Yeah, can I? Can, can we, we all answer this? this? Yeah. You Absolutely, got it. You got please. It. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, um, I've done a lot of talks on this, right? And I think the one thing that will always stand out, and I want to repeat this consistently, is just find your why. Mm. Um, you need to understand why you're investing to begin with before you even it, it, don't do it for vibes i mean vibes are nice um <laughs> but why is it because you want money and if you want money what do you want that money to do for you mm. i think once you identify that then we can jump into the registrations and we start reading your education tailored to the why yeah yeah I think for, for, for me it's a matter of understanding that everything and anything that we do out there comes with risks. Whether you're spending money, it comes with risks because at the end of the day you might buy something, you might not love it. Mm. Right? So understanding the risks, that's the most important thing. And then once you've realized that, okay, at the end of the day everything has risk, the question is what risk am I taking? And the, the most important thing that you need to understand within this whole context is that not investing is the biggest risk because at the end of the oh, wow. day you are not getting anything back in return yeah. but instead you're letting go of everything yeah for me um i joined the company i'm, I'm a lockdown baby <laughs> so i had never i had never invested before and um as part of it they gave us one of the, the 50 rand vouchers and i was so scared before i made that first investment mm. it's a big thing mm. it's a whole world i mean now i'm like let's, mm. let's get going <laughs> but i think the best thing for me is seeing money that i've done nothing really besides put it in Letting an investment and mm. now i've made a little maybe a couple of, cent share, a couple of rands a couple of hundred rands maybe but i think there's no better feeling than, than seeing money <laughs> And I can tell Grow. you for free, the, the most exciting thing, once you've invested, is getting that dividend notification. Yes. Oh my <laughs> word. My first yes. dividend, I was just like, let's eat this money. It's and so exciting. Which is why I love my Easy Properties account yeah. as well. Because that, I mean, you put it in, you leave it, it's going to grow its property. You're buying fractional shares in actual properties. That's mm. growing. You're getting dividends from the property. Oh, I'm so excited. And I mean, obviously, if, 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 you're, if you're speaking of dividends, it's important to understand that at the end of the day, where there are cents, rands can be made. I mean, I love repeating that line. <laughs> where there are <laughs> cents, rands can be made. So it therefore means that whatever cent you get, if you put it all together, it does make a difference. Same with, with the fact that people are having to invest on easy equities on a regular basis. Whether it's one rand, five cent, ten cent, it's called easy drip. The more drips you put in, over time it might become a two liter. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to end on that <laughs> mic drop. That's the mic drop that ends this. <laughs> There's nothing else to be discussed. I really hope that people have learned about the ecosystem and can really take away from all the tools that you guys are building and being able to start their investment journey and build from it as well. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. As we conclude today's episode of the Telcom Business Blaze podcast, we hope that you've gained valuable insights into the world of easy equities and received practical financial management tools and advice tailored for SMMEs. Thank you for joining us and remember to stay tuned for more informative discussions to help elevate your business journey. Until next time, thank you. <laughs>